Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular uh, AD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, segment uh, BD is uh, 28 units whereas uh, this tiny segment uh, CD is uh, 7 units and moreover uh, this angle uh, ABD is uh, X whereas uh, this angle uh, ACD is uh, 2 times X and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, these uh, missing side lengths uh, this side length, uh, this side length uh, and this uh, perpendicular length please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step I'm going to label uh, this uh, perpendicular AD as our height uh, lowercase uh, h and now we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simpler as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, ADE such that uh, this angle uh, AED is uh, 2 times X and now we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, ADE and this uh, other triangle uh, ADC are our congruent uh, triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem since uh, these two angles are uh, congruent this angle is 90 degrees likewise this angle is 90 degrees as well and both of these triangles uh, share uh, this uh, perpendicular and since uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, congruent so therefore uh, this side uh, AE is going to be congruent to this side uh, AC and furthermore uh, this segment uh, ED is going to be equal to this segment uh, CD if this is 7 then this ED segment uh, is going to be 7 units as well and finally we know this whole uh, segment uh, BD is uh, 28 and we know this tiny segment ED is uh, 7 so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, BE is going to be 28 minus 7 is going to give us uh, 21 and now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem according to this theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram we can see that this uh, is uh, our exterior angle C whereas uh, these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles are uh, a and B such that uh, this angle uh, C is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two angles uh, A plus B and now we can see that this uh, angle is our uh, exterior angle and that exterior angle is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles so therefore uh, this angle uh, BAE has got to be X such that uh, X uh, plus X uh, is going to be equal to this exterior angle uh, 2X and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BAE and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this angle is congruent to this angle so therefore we conclude that this uh, side uh, BE is going to be equal to this side uh, AE since this is an uh, isosceles uh, triangle so therefore uh, if this uh, side uh, BE is uh, 21 then uh, this side uh, AE is going to be 21 units as well and finally we know that these uh, two sides uh, AE and uh, AC are congruent uh, as well if this side is 21 uh, then this uh, AC side length is going to be 21 units uh, as well so thus our uh, this missing side length uh, AC turns out to be 21 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADE and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is 21 whereas our two other legs are uh, 
lowercase h and 7. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, h square plus uh, 7 square is going to be equal to 21 square. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, h square plus 49 equals to 441. And now we are going to subtract 49 from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore uh, our h square uh, value turns out to be 392. And now we are going to undo this square by taking square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore our lowercase h value turns out to be 14 uh, times square root of 2 units. So thus our this uh, perpendicular lowercase h value turns out to be 14 times square root of 2. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADB. And I'm going to label uh, this side uh, AB as uh, lowercase uh, m. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, lowercase m. So therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle as well. And once again here is our Pythagorean theorem. And in our case our hypotenuse is a lowercase uh, m. Whereas our two other legs uh, are uh, lowercase uh, h uh, and uh, 28. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, h square plus uh, 28 uh, square is going to be equal to m square. And now let's make an observation. We know that our uh, lowercase h square value is 392. So therefore I'm going to substitute that value 392 over here. So therefore we can write uh, 392 plus 28 square is uh, 784 equal to m square. So therefore uh, our m square value turns out to be 1176 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our lowercase m value turns out to be equal to 14 times uh, square root of 6 uh, units. So thus our lowercase m value turns out to be 14 times uh, square root of uh, 6 units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our uh, this side length uh, AC turns out to be 21 units. This missing side uh, AB turns out to be 14 times square root of 6 units. And finally this uh, perpendicular AD turns out to be 14 times square root of 2 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.